Uh, hello everybody welcome to the you see me in a podcast council i forgot the name for a second there um welcome I'm, to two idiots hate each other for all eternity oh uh, that's incorrect in a slight way but whatever uh, i'm blobby gobster i'm i'm me i'm assassin card <laughs> okay. i forgot my username for a second <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. But what you didn't forget about was making me record. What? Okay. So. Are you not recording? Re so here's. here's No, I, I am. So here's the thing. Okay. To start this <laughs> off with. Um, the day that episode one came out, we were supposed to record <laughs> episode two. Um, however, I wasn't able to do that. Um, and I forgot to communicate that with uh, Carter. So He um, was off. Fight aliens again. Yes, aliens. Yes. Butthole. Anyways, um. <laughs> butthole aliens. Butthole. Um. Butthole. Butthole. So, um. <laughs> so, Saturday, he's like, are, are we are we going to record the podcast? And I said, I don't know. Um, you want to do it today or, or uh, Sunday? And he's like, uh, let's go with Sunday because that's when my folks are going to be out. I'm like, okay. And then I forget to do it Sunday. So, uh, yesterday, nothing was mentioned about it because I wasn't even on for all day yeah. yesterday. Um, and so today, uh, we had some old friends just suddenly show up out of the blue. <laughs> and then Carter decided that it was a great time to remind me that I need, that we need to fucking record the podcast. But well, no, I figured, si no, well, no, no, I figured hey, since up, you had on. come back on, that meant you <laughs> Remind me last night. So, he takes a chance to do this, and uh, the thing is, is that he didn't, like, remind me by saying, hey, uh, we forgot to do the podcast. No. <laughs> in the freaking chat. <laughs> not, 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 in, not just in Amino, but in the, the Hangouts chat. He keeps sending me the, like, the, the faces <laughs> that you make with the two... Uh, <laughs> The sideways carrots. The sideways and carrots, the and then the <laughs> underline. But the thing is, is that every hour or so, he would have sent another one, and they would have been wider apart. He only got to two, but if I just let him alone, I... it probably at the end of the day, it would have probably been too long to even fit in one message. It would have just been dead word. I would have just sent the dead word phone. And you may be wondering, why is it that Carter, for some reason, is the one that's being anal about wanting to do a podcast <laughs> this time instead of, I don't know, Blobby? Well, here's the thing. One day, I get a message, um, and this is what it says. Blobby, I have figured out the ESO <laughs> truth, and I'm about to vomit ESO truth at you. <laughs> to which I responded by saying, I will receive your vomit like a baby bird. So, today, since nobody, <laughs> since I wasn't able to get somebody else to join in the last five minutes... Um, we tried to get Stephen Hasselhoff, but he he wouldn't respond to our emails. The fuck is Stephen Hasselhoff? Wait, fuck, it's David ha Fuck! God <laughs> Shit! Uh, Jumps out window. <laughs> so... In in instead of getting a third person <laughs> in the last five minutes, at least I tried to, <laughs> Carter is apparently going to tell us, drop a knowledge bomb on well, all this I figured first. Weird... I figured first we should just talk about Odyssey. <laughs> oh, so that's the <laughs> second thing that we have to talk about. Because that literally was announced the day before we uploaded the first episode of season two. Uh, well, <laughs> I... I love how that episode was all about us talking like, what do you think the next game's going to be? Oh, I, I've heard it's being set in Greece. I want... <laughs> uh, yeah. So, do you want to air grievances? Or would you like to just talk about it? I don't, I don't have grievances. I love how everyone is already fucking hating on Odyssey. Here's and yet all we have it... seen is five seconds of footage. It's okay. like, come okay. on. But first of all, I would like to make mention that they've already blown their load with the five seconds that they've shown us. Because God forbid that they 
have to make a 300 joke while it's a game set in Greece, and they have uh, to do that with the announcement trailer. Oh, good lord. As if we've never a used that meme A meme from 2011 <laughs> has to be repeated in 2018 in a tiny Don't teaser act trailer. like you've never used that meme before, Blobby. I have, but I said 2011 because it's a 2011 meme. <laughs> And once more, didn't they say uh, that it's coming out later this year? I've heard, I've heard it's either going to be this year or it's going to be like March of next year. But you again, okay, it's, that's it's all rumors. Year, then I'm okay with it. But if it's this year, <laughs> fuck Ubisoft. Oh my! No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> you be hard. I, I don't. <laughs> 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 I don't want another yearly release Assassin's Creed to happen again, as I said last time, because uh, then it will just get stale, and then, you know, there won't be that much hype for it, except people hype things up too much, and then they're like, this is a piece of shit. <laughs> to which I respond with, then don't hype it up so much, you fucking idiot. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. Uh, Odyssey uh, could be good. Um, yeah. But I'd rather it uh, take more time to be made. Um, I wish I had more DLC for Origins, though. That's what I will say. Um, yeah. And I wish that they would. I, <laughs> I wish they would do some more with, uh, like I said, the cryptic stuff with the Isu. Which reminds me, so Carter, I, I was really hoping that we would have gotten a DLC where we get to, you know, kill Cleopatra with the fucking snake. I was hoping we would get like a controllable yeah. snake kind of thing. I want. I, I wanted to. I but wanted. Inside. I wanted. I was the one thing that I was hoping when Origins was coming out. I was just like, I yeah. don't get to kill Cleopatra. <laughs> nope. They're shoving the that other in the thing, comics. And then the other thing was, uh, I hope I get to see Brutus with his armor, of Brutus. But I guess all our dreams have to be crushed at some point. I showed you. I sh he had the, the quote unquote armor, of Brutus, in the comics. I showed you that, right? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> it looks. Wait Absolutely a minute, isn't nothing. it supposed to be red? <laughs> What's red? It was just shit. It was, like, it was like somebody just kind of vaguely described the armor of Brutus to the comic designer. It was like, well, it's red and he's got plate armor. He's Roman. Oh, okay. <laughs> there. Yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> Here we go. Leather chest piece. Anything else? <laughs> uh, that's actually not what we're talking about. Well, it's already published. <laughs> Have you never played Brotherhood? What's Assassin's Creed? <laughs> Who are you people? Where am I? Why am I here? Is this a bad guy? Is this war? Where am I? Canada? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, Carter... Drop yeah. us so the knowledge <laughs> vomit that you have so discover okay and i'll so I'm just, this... I, I would just like to let everybody know since carter's going to be doing most of the talking i'm going to be playing a game while he's talking just so you know in case i go very quiet it's because i'm focusing is on it me. assassin's cred no oh um so this whole this whole journey started out i was it was really pissing me because there is cryptic shit in origins there is there was that one <laughs> little I mentioned I mentioned to you in the last episode there was I said it was a string of binary I I was just remembering it wrong it's this weird like next to one of the viewpoints there's like this random little interactive point and all of it comes up is a text box that has this series of I's and Y's Hold on this is in the duot right uh no it's in the uh the the field of reeds one the uh, oh yeah oh for anybody Nefertiti. who doesn't for everybody who doesn't know what we're talking about can you uh can you speed up people who are trying to oh it, it, and it, this is in, this is in Assassin's Creed Origins in the uh, the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC okay but that doesn't in, help in, in, <laughs> in one of the afterlife worlds um go on it's whichever one is Nefertiti I can't remember the name of it. Now I'm playing but, Assassin's Creed Origins because I actually want to look at this. It's not, yeah, well, I, it's not because I want to play Origins. It's because I want to play Origins. Go to, Nefertiti, go to Nefertiti's world and the, the, go to the, the top of the viewpoint there and there should be this random interactive point and it's just got this weird 
line of what looks like a code, but nobody's here's, here's been what able I'm to do. like. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, my um, <laughs> my uh, what I'm able to do is with my um, Hangouts for some reason uh -huh. when I turn on the camera, it's connected directly to my capture card, and okay. if I do this, boom! Look at that. <clears throat> Gasp. The only Game problem play. is it's backwards, so what I'm going to do is in post-production, I'm going to flip! It doesn't, doesn't then, look backwards on my view. Well, it looks backwards for me. Well, maybe you're just backwards. Did you do put your eyes in backwards again today, Bobby? Where am I? Who are you? <laughs> so, go ahead and keep explaining. Oh, um, it, it's all, and um, this whole time, I was like, what the fuck is has anybody solved this yet? I, I've like been trying to like search different like theory sites and shit. Nobody's come up with a conclusive answer. Like nobody really even knows what the cipher is. There was there was this one really obscure guess that's been gaining popularity where it's like the hieroglyphics. Whoa, my microphone like this, just gained sensitivity up the wazoo. Oh. All right, there we go. There's like one, um, there's like this one chart they found where it's like it matches different hieroglyphics to different letter sounds, even though I'm 90% certain that's Arr. not accurate. That's Arr, <laughs> by the way. And, um, and the Y is, the Y one is like linked to, uh, the Y and I, they both look like read symbols, but the Y is symbolized by two reads. So people have taken that to mean, oh, that means Y corresponds to two, and I corresponds to one, or something like that. And um, it's like, if you, if you add the values together, it comes out to a date. It's like really obscure. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay. So the date and the, the the well the date that came out was September seventeenth of twenty twelve, which was the date that Desmond got to the to the Auditory Villa in Brotherhood. Okay. So that's and that's as far as anybody's gotten. <laughs> so you said that we were going to be getting. A knowledge bomb, a truth bomb. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna, here, I, like, I finally figured out what the cryptic message was. No, 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 no. I, I was, I was just kind of like intro, introing that, and that, that was le what led me down the rabbit hole to like look up. Uh, do you know, do you know the site called Access the Animus? No. It's it's this really it's this really nice fan oh, site. Oh, whoa, hold on. Hold uh, for on. it. Hold on. What? Well, <laughs> yeah, you see it. Like this little nest right here. Yeah, yeah, that thing. And <laughs> there it is. Huh. Oh, c for the love of God, microphone, stop gaining sensitivity, oh. you bastard. Oh. Sorry. Um. <laughs> but uh, Access the Animus is like this big uh, Assassin's Creed fan site dedicated to like gathering lore and solving the puzzles in the series and stuff like that. And. I, there was this one really long article. It was like six pages long. Um, I'd have to pull it up again in order to see the exact stuff. But like, it goes. It, it, it like deeply analyzes all this shit in the temples, like throughout the main map of Egypt, all the Isu temples and the messages. It's not just bullshit philosophy. It's predicting the next story arc. And how do you predict something that already is in planning? You can't predict what you're making. <laughs> Just saying. No. Believe, it or, believe it or not, that actually kind of ties into what's going on. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, Are you telling me Ubisoft doesn't even know what Ubisoft is doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, have, you ever, have you ever seen that picture of um, what? of freaking the... Uh, it's the it's the guy sitting in his room, and then he copied and pasted himself behind him with a gun on his head. And then <laughs> instead of the guy's actual head, it's Ubisoft logo. So Ubisoft <laughs> is pointing a gun at Ubisoft's head. <laughs> um, 
But um, here here's the fun, here's the fundamental truth that this analysis has uncovered about these messages. You said analysis funny. You said anal. Penis. <laughs> A- anal. Anal. It's That's funny. funny. Anal. Like, comment, subscribe for anal. This whole entire map is just one big hiding point. <laughs> it is. Oddly satisfying. The field of reeds. <laughs> Be my eyes, Shemu. Shemu. Okay, so what you said was... The fundamental truth that the Isu have been trying to tell us this whole time. We figured it out, Blobby. Oh, Assassin's man. Creed is a video game. You gotta be kidding me. Is that <laughs> seriously the entire thing? <laughs> they know, Blobby. They so, know. So what you're telling me <laughs> is that this entire time <laughs> it's this a video entire game entire message this entire time the story of Assassin's Creed with Desmond Miles with the nameless Abstergo employee with whoever this new girl is with the assassin recruit Sean Hastings Rebecca fucking Lucy Stillman Warren Vidic Otso Berg the Magnificent it's all just a video game. You're playing it right now, bro. <laughs> Would you like me to explain? Hold on, I need to go punch something real quick. <laughs> My door suddenly opens. Oh, hey, bro. <laughs> All right, explain. <laughs> okay, so uh, th- these articles, th- th- these analysis articles, they they go in, through these the, the six messages one by one. For um, the first, like like chronologically. Uh, oh fuck! <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, there's the um, vomit part that you were promising. <laughs> but, um... But, um... The first one... But... But who? But who? The first... <laughs> the first message is one of those weird, like, philosophy ones that... It's... It, it's like trying to explain to Layla the idea that you can't tell if you're in a simulation yourself or not. And it, it, you know, on the surface, it just sounds like philosophical bullshit, like we were thinking. But when you you when you mix it with all the other shit, it, you start to realize like they're actively pointing this out to her, and and they go on like you well, you, and you know this is a possibility because you've been in the animus, and you can't tell when that real world is real or not, and especially when there's bleeding effects and shit, you can't tell that it's not a simulation. It, um. I can't. Oh, excuse me a second. I'm gonna mute my microphone. Hey! Oh. oh. My microphone didn't mute. Hey! <laughs> hey! Uh. All right. Um, and I, I forget what. Specific, or I would have again. I would have to pull up the article itself. I I might do that. Hold up, get my laptop. But um, it later goes on. It explains how the Isu view space time, like the fabric of reality, and they they explain it as they see it as a code. Ah, so the Matrix. (laughs) And. There goes Ubisoft <laughs> jumping the shark again. Oh, there they go. <laughs> oh, sweet child oh. of mine. <laughs> and um. Whoa, 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 whoa. And uh, another one talks about. 
I, I just want to... Can I just say something real quick? Just about what I'm playing. Oh, well, no, oh. your dogs are fucking barking. <laughs> I'd just like to make mention real quick. They give you a hidden blade in Brotherhood, but you don't do anything with it. All right, go on. As Desmond, go on. Eh. Um, another one of them talks about the normal stuff. The like Isu, they talk about, oh, the first catastrophe. We failed to stop it, so we reached out into the future. But it's worded really weirdly in the, fir in the first part of it. I'm pulling up the... I'm waiting for my computer to charge <laughs> so I can pull up the article. Um, I'm showing the audience where to get the five artifacts. For <laughs> Maybe this is what I'll do. I'll start doing gameplay footage along with the podcast so nobody's <laughs> fucking bored out of their mind. All right, con continue on. And one, I forget how it's worded exactly, but it, it's like, it's talking about, like, oh, we put our... These walls, they tell a tragic story, and they start doing the, sh the shit about all the catastrophe. We reached out, blah, blah, blah. And they, they go on, like, we, we wrote our stories on the wall, but we don't know who put the symbols there. <laughs> or something. So... We just told the story, and then all of a sudden, there's a fucking eagle skull on here. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, and it, it reads like... I've heard some people say, like, oh, this is, like, a precursor, precursor race that has made this simulation oh, of the Isu. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, but, uh, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. I'll just fucking... <laughs> but it sounds, especially with all this talk of code and shit, it sounds like they're talking about Ubisoft. <laughs> Like, some, somebody programmed in these symbols, even though they, in the story, put them there, they don't know who put the, the, those writings there. So, like, somebody else programmed it meant to be there. I feel like Ubisoft just went and watched Deadpool, and they're like, that's what we want. Meta. <laughs> for nothing to make sense yeah. ever. <laughs> of course. Like, um, I, I, I forgot <laughs> where all the pieces are. <laughs> Well, that's shit. It's okay. I, I, I One is up Desmond's asshole. Oh, is that the sword? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, the continue. sword of penis. Sorry. Go on. Um. So there's that, and there's also... <laughs> so Layla... Uh oh <laughs> They're reaching out to Layla to, um... Because apparently, like the the fa this, the fabric of reality, the co the code is what they call it, um, has fixed points in the timelines that are supposed to happen no matter what you change, and the apocalypse, the one that Desmond stopped in twenty twelve, was supposed to be one of those. But because the Isu figured out that this is all just one giant video game. Um, and that it's all just a story that in order to stop that, they need to actively change the story that's been written. And that's what they tried to do with Desmond. The but, hell is happening? <laughs> but the code of, the code of space time, because that was a fixed point, is trying to ripple back to force that event to happen. Uh, so... There's another solar flare on its way that Layla will have to deal with. But here's the thing that's been that's kind of like pointed out in all these messages. The only way to stop it completely, like stop it from just rippling back and do, and doing the process over and over again of somebody sacrificing themselves over and over to stop the next apocalypse, the only way is to actively change the code of reality, to actually actively change the rules of the story. So literally, in order to save the universe, Layla has to gain the power of retcon. And the sad part is, I can't really deny that, because that is exactly what they originally planned to do with Desmond's story. 
What do you mean then, do with Desmond's story? In an interview with Nolan North, he talks about how originally what they had planned for Desmond was for him to gain like time travel powers and like learn that uh, the whole time he was just a simulation in another animus and blah blah blah. Ha! <laughs> ha! So it's the but story they, I came up they, with in my head. <laughs> but they scrapped it because they thought that was stupid. <laughs> okay. But now they're bringing it back. <laughs> So, the Isu know they are fictional characters in a video game that have been coded into this reality. And that the only way to stop the bad ending from happening again is to actively retcon out the rule that the sun will keep flaring up if you try to stop it. <laughs> uh, what about the whole... We also we know we're in a video game, so we're also going to just uh, do some crossovers too. Hashtag <laughs> Livy Gary Bear. It kind of makes sense with the because like with the fucking uh, the Olivier the Etsy. Uh, I meant to say Olivier of, Garnier. I said Olivier Garnier. <laughs> <laughs> well, even though it's like the Soul Calibur Five crossover, it's like it makes sense because like then it's like oh the the piece of Eden transferred Ezio's code into another video game. <laughs> Which would be Soul Cal. I mean, I kind of like the idea and don't like the idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, I like it that, like, the whole thing is like, wait a minute, we're in a simulation as well. Well, and, and that's how that's how they explain, like, but I, I, I do I like how, like it's, how not... it's like, well, okay, let's do it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it's also like, I, I I do appreciate how it's they're not just going for time travel because like in one of the messages it's it, they say like oh the Isu like, oh the 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 Abstergo Animi they were all they were all flawed they were they were like us before we learned that we'll, like it can only observe and and they say like oh but Layla's yours yours is special it can't it doesn't just view history it can also change history if you if you, you know, like believe or some shit like. That. <laughs> And like that, Power it, friendship. so it's not just time travel. Like I like how they actively explain because the animus, like all the Bayek stuff and shit, is just another simulation inside the the grand simulation of the video game. So a simulation within a simulation within a game. So it's it's all one code. So when <clears throat> so when you go into the animus. You, it's not just a projection, it's your character actively changing its avatar and going into a new world within the code. So it's not just, like, time travel, it's like actively Layla using the Animus to, trans to basically hack herself into another place in the code, into another time point of the code. What's the matter you out there? God damn That's it. Racist. <laughs> You're a racist. Really? This is what you guys are doing. Oh no, God forbid I take a break. I've only spent the past three fucking weeks inside that machine. No, no, you're right. Let's all just screw around while the world falls to pieces. Hey, this isn't easy, you Jokes know. on you, it's all fake! Oh. Enough! <laughs> Look, everyone's under a lot of pressure. We're the only ones who can stop so Sorry, I'm going to have to tone down all that volume in post. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this has one. been reactions with Flabby and Carter. Hooray. <laughs> all right. But, uh, but yeah. So is that all? <laughs> That's the gist of it, yeah. Okay, the... <laughs> so to summarize, basically what you're telling me is that <laughs> what I thought of originally when those messages came up in Origins and you brought it up originally when I said, hmm, what if this entire time this whole light game is just a simulation itself? <laughs> I was correct is what you were telling me. I don't recall that conversation, but if so, then yeah. I do, because I made sure, because <laughs> when we talked about it, that's the first thing that I said. Um, so, 
Okay. Um... <laughs> what if it's all the Matrix? <laughs> Carter, what if... Now hear me out. What if Assassin's Creed is a video game? <laughs> I don't. I, I don't understand. All this time, the answer was right in front of our faces. The whole time. God. It's just a video well, game. <laughs> more answers, most likely, are going to be given in Odyssey. Yeah. And subsequently, a lot more questions. <laughs> One question I had there... that came to my mind was so, does this actually, like, one thing that I've been wondering, does this actually, like, answer a question? Okay, so here's a question that I've had for a while, ever since, like, uh, yeah. ever since AC Brotherhood. Okay. Um. Yes, Ezio is Italian. Oh, damn. I just tried to run <laughs> up this wall, thinking that I was yeah. going to be able to climb it, because Origins, you can climb anything. But this is right? Right. Right. <laughs> So the question I have is this. So after the events of Brotherhood, um, mm -hmm. after Desmond's mind goes, and then Lucy goes, but Desmond's mind goes, yeah. Um, how is it that you're able to continue on with a memory of Ezio when all his memories are done? What do you mean? So all of Desmond's memory, uh, all of Ezio's memories are finished by the end. Like the memories... You know the storyline memories, like you you go through the whole main story, and yeah. the thing is with all those, with that whole entire memory sequence, the idea is that everything that you do in the game to, to do it, and like to complete it one hundred percent by collecting all the treasures and doing all that crap and everything. Apparently, once you do that one hundred percent, and you do that before you finish up the game for good, that means that you basically relived Ezio's life to the fullest, yeah. which makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> How is it that you are able to access Ezio's memories at the end of Brotherhood when the storyline is already finished and everything like that, if they are supposed to be theoretically done by the end of the game? Well, they're not... Well, the, the Ezio memories cut off at Flavia. No, but no, but here's what I'm saying. The fact that the game, basically what it's supposed to be, is that it's supposed to like, the game of Brotherhood is supposed to end after Desmond's mind goes dead. Like, yeah. everything that you do in that game is supposed to go dead. But how is it that even after the game is done and then Desmond's mind is gone and that he doesn't access uh, Ezio's I think that... memories, that you're able to go back into Ezio's memories at the end? I get that it's a video the, game, everybody, the, the that Vinci, they just the needed to... Shit? No, no, not the Da Vinci shit. No, I'm talking about at the end of everything that you do. Everything is done uh -huh. in the game yeah. with the main storyline. Desmond is basically dead. Dead. <laughs> that word. Brain dead. He's dead. Brain dead. Yeah. How is it that at the end of the game, you go back into the memories of Ezio when his memories are already done? I don't know. And the point that I'm making with this is, does this theory of the fact that, you know, the Isu were saying, it's all in game, woohoo, <laughs> is that basically saying you're able to access memories that are supposed to be done because it's a game? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're not following anything that I'm saying. I don't know. <laughs> it's a video game, Lobby. Assassin's Creed is a <laughs> It's all just been programmed by Ubisoft. And what's the deal with a cardboard box in Renaissance Italy? Wait a minute. Snake? I mean, you do have the Raiden outfit. <clears throat> That's not Snake. It's, it's Metal Gear, though, isn't it? I've never played Metal Gear. But it's not no. Snake. Snake. It's Raiden, and nobody likes Raiden. Well, I, I've never played Metal Gear, so I don't fucking know. I love how he has a, that outfit has a robot beard. Like, <laughs> it's like. <laughs> so, Isu vomit bomb. Yeah. Did Did you like it? 
it's uh it's strange <laughs> and it's also something that I was like what if this is the case so I mean I guess but like I said we'll probably know uh, more when Odyssey comes out yeah uh now the Everyone question is, is already... what, what else to talk about? <laughs> uh, everyone's hating on Odyssey. We've only seen two seconds of it, but everyone's hating it. <laughs> but we already talked about this at the beginning. Uh, I've heard, I've heard a lot of the same. Like apparently, I I, I know like literally, the uh. Um, I know like the game's gonna be talked about it at E3 and shit, and they're gonna probably yeah, like ninety percent right. of these gonna be coming up soon. Yeah, <laughs> like ninety yeah, percent of these. Like I stopped caring <laughs> back in like two thousand and twelve. <laughs> I know like ninety percent of these rumors are probably going to be proven false, but like I've I've heard people say we're like, oh, I play tested. They got play tested. I had a friend who played like that kind of shit. They're they do supposed after the, after the after the announcement. That's when they start doing it. That's why I'm saying probably half these rumors are gonna be out the fucking door. Um, I, I've heard that it's gonna be like a scenario where you get to play as two different characters. Oh and... crap! <laughs> the rooks. <laughs> um, yes, they're they're gonna bring back the rooks. Um, it's it's actually going to be set in Victorian London. It's it's an odd, you know it's an odd decision for ancient Greece, you know. But yeah, you know, I. I... <laughs> oh, stab me! But um, it, based on what I've heard, it's it's going to be two different characters. One, but like they don't have stories that can like they they connect, but they never interact have with you each ever other. How huge that hidden blade is on his right hand. Right? You know? <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> got, got such a, a huge hidden blade. I Shut the hell up and do it. Just wanna touch complete, it. Complete, your, complete your thought, you thought. Just... <laughs> Rebecca, fuck this. Fucking Rebecca. Fucking bitch. Rebecca, fuck the fucking bitch. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> This is a normal conversation, everybody, just so you're aware. <laughs> I think everybody knows this by now, but this is a normal conversation between us. Rebecca! <laughs> um, it's, it's like two stars. Apparently, it's going to be like multiple endings, too, which... Yes. I, I don't... Like I don't... How do you do that, though? Well... Unless, unless they the start implementing... Take the theory that you just spat out at everybody. The fact I mean, that you're I, able to change the fucking code to do whatever you I, goddamn wish. I, I mean, think I, I guess, know why yeah. it is that they're going to be adding in the different endings. I guess, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and your opinions. <laughs> um, the Eagles are back, I think I heard. Yeah, no control with snakes, unfortunately. Everybody in the ancient world used eagles until <laughs> suddenly somebody's like, "I'm just going to look myself," and then they're able to look at blue, white, green, and red and gold people. Because <laughs> everybody used eagles back then, but then suddenly somebody's like, "How about we actually just use our eyes?" <laughs> it makes total sense. And that but then shit how, doesn't show how will back the eagle be until, our eyes then? That, that shit doesn't show back up until fucking AC3 comic book about Connor's daughter. Yay. Because we had to explain that it happened sometime in the future, and this is the first time that was going to God forbid somebody connects to a fucking fox for once. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Kangaroo. Love how bad. <laughs> Kangaroo. Him and his purple eyes. Why does Lavope have purple eyes? This is my OC. Do not steal. No, but hey, hold on a second. (laughs) 
Oh, it's probably talked about in AC2. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> La Volpe has... We need to do a bro- we need to do a multiplayer a brotherhood multiplayer show. We planned that out and we never got around to it. Hey, we, game we... night's gonna be happening. When though? I <laughs> well, everybody I... vote everybody voted for Friday. You know what? That's actually something we should talk about. So, yeah. I, so for those of you who don't know, it would, um, I put out a poll. Um, I think around last week now. Um, and it asks what day anybody everybody prefers to have like a live stream slash game night for the entire community. And yeah. uh, everybody, surprise, surprise, chose Friday. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> so the thing is, is that um, I'm going to have to figure out how to get all that done and everything. Um, and so like one of the things that we want to do with this whole game night thing is to... I mean, it's kind of hard to um, do this with everybody since not everybody plays on a PlayStation, which is what we primarily use, yeah. uh, Carter and I. Uh, but yeah. we want to, what we want to do is we kind of want to fill the servers back up of the multiplayer. Um, yeah, of, especially the Brotherhood one. <laughs> especially the Brotherhood one, the OG. Um, maybe because, you know, when they came out, nobody really played it that much, and then now nobody seriously plays it that much. It, it's just dead. Every every single time I try to like go to the men. Well, I, I have that one comic. <laughs> um, <laughs> every single time I go to like oh play session, I will sit there for like two fucking hours. I, like I'll I'll just put the controller down. I'll go eat a sandwich or something. I'll just wait to see if anything happens. Nothing. You eat a sandwich for two hours. Yes. That's hard. You don't. <laughs> no, because what are you some what are you some kind of noob? Some kind oh, of. I'm... I'm not a diabetic like you, apparently. <laughs> In my head, that made sense, but I don't know if that actually makes sense. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> um, it's it's okay, Blobby. It's just your code glitching out. Ubisoft, Ubisoft is hiring a new I writer for you. I sudden urge to fight the sun. <laughs> yeah, you, Ubisoft is they hired a new writer for you, so you're gonna get you're gonna get kind of retconny, but it's 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 all good. It's all good though. It's it's part of the story. <laughs> That's why I feel nauseous right now. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's why my asshole is suddenly on my face. <laughs> um. So. Our plan is is I I need to figure out a schedule for this. I don't know if it's going to start yeah. this week or not, but um, in this week meaning uh, June. Fuck, what's the date? June eighth. Oh no, it's not going to happen this week. Um, it'll probably start next week, but I'll still have to schedule something out and get people to do things, and I'll have to make an announcement a week in advance, and then everything (laughs) so what um what we'll do we'll probably i'll first have to figure out how to set up the playstation 3 and the elgato to the freaking live stream thing i'll have to oh can't kill anybody for 100 sync um i'll also have to figure out um if we're going to use either twitch or um YouTube live stream. I'm thinking of. I don't know if I want to do Twitch because if we do Twitch, then the archives will not be saved onto YouTube unless we take it over from Twitch to YouTube, but that's going to be too much of a pain. Um, so we might as well do YouTube so that it'll automatically save to YouTube and then you'll have the whole archive yeah. there. Yeah. Um, and then I would have to figure out how to get a announcement out, which would be easy with Amino and everything. But um, yeah. the only problem is, is well, it's not necessarily a problem. <laughs> Pe- people can watch the stream. Yeah. Um, but only as few people will be able to play along with us if they wish to. Okay. We just um, need like a we need a minimum of four, right? I think so, yeah. And that would just be you, me, and then we'd try and get a couple other people who are PlayStation we'll get, geeks. I, 
I think Red has a play. I think Red has a PlayStation. Don't hurt me, please. Okay. Um. <laughs> the void. The void. And um. So after all that is done, I'll probably do a test thing somewhere, some sometime. Um, yeah. I'm gonna start doing. Now the thing is, should I be a dick and then start uploading this crap as well to uh, <laughs> to uh, YouTube <laughs> on my what, own what, channel? What the the podcast and shit? Or no, the not the, no, the the gameplay. Oh, I. Whatever you want. Should I, I should I put it on the AC do, Mino? Do like uh, do like a highlight reel for your channel or something. Yeah. Boy, it's like that's what, that that's way. What it's I'm like more you. Yeah. Ignore the screams of pain that just went through <laughs> my game. What? Well, I'm what? <laughs> Sorry. Follow the checkpoints. Uh, do it. Um. So yeah. I'd have to figure out as well how to get the whole audio yeah. thing going. Because I know if we're going to be in, like, a party of people while playing this, I would also have to record that yeah. audio along with it, which would be odd to do. Stop shooting me. I'm hiding. <laughs> so... Machine gun. But, yeah, that it is definitely something that's going to be happening. Yeah. I'm I'm base I'm the one that's gonna be playing the whole thing since I'm the one that knows how to do this stuff. Um <laughs> I'm just here waiting for my everybody's chance. Everybody's just play here doing anything and I'm the only one that's like, so this is what we'll do, we'll have to take the be can we can't do this, we can't do that blah 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 blah. How about we do uh fucking let's plays? No, we can't I'm sorry. No. Um Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like I'm, I'm trying to make a coherent thought while also running out of machine gun. <laughs> it's not working. So yeah, uh, that will definitely be something that will happen. Uh, possibly next week, most likely next week. Boom. Um, anything else? Um. Don't you remember when in Assassin's Creed Two you? drove through the whole entire mountainside with a carriage and everybody loved it well guess what <laughs> you're doing it Dude. again the one mission the one mission I remember fucking hating was the goddamn. the first one was the tank the tank I fucking hated I, hate, I did too I hate... and then I figured out how to do it and then I actually got yeah, 100% I, sync on yeah, it yeah I, I found out the cheat at the end <laughs> um I, I hate any mission that has, like, don't lose a single thing of health. Oh, like this one? Dude, oh. Yeah, yeah. Dude, oh, no, it's not this one. It's do not kill anybody <laughs> before destroying the blueprints. My bad. Never mind. I was wrong. Uh, and I think the, uh, wasn't the flying machine one of those two? And it was so janky. That's... <laughs> no, the flying, I can't remember what the flying machine one was. But it was like, you can't the let fly... this happen. And then it's and like, the but th that's the only way this can happen. And there's no, there's no checkpoints either. You have to go through the entire fucking mission to get back to that one point if you take any damage. Like, you have, to, you have to sneak through the town, you have to kill the guy, you have to climb up the tower, past the restricted area, and then you get to go in the fucking flying machine. That's just virtually impossible what's happening right there. All right, cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> can't remember what the uh, that Greek fire one was on here as Greek. well. I can't the uh, the one where you have the small little Venetian boat, and then it has like that. Whole oh, gun yeah. System. I mean, it's not Greek fire. Excuse me. It's just like a a gun system or something on it. It's a penis. Yes. <laughs> a box on a boat. Moto bene. <laughs> Tomatoes. <laughs> um, I, remember, I remember there was that one mission in Revelations where... I'm having, <laughs> there we go. 
Yeah, it was it was in Cappadocia. It was one of those yeah, don't take any damage missions, and it was like full of overpowered fucking enemies, and you basically just had to bomb your way through. <laughs> oh no, you can block anybody except for the spearmen. I don't have good hand-eye coordination, so you just hold down R two and then press square. Penis. It's not, it's, there's no there's no like coordination <laughs> with it. They move. Has it, a, has it occurred square. to you? Has it occurred to you that maybe I am stupid? <laughs> I feel like among I am every, a nuts like, every, every person that I've seen on YouTube who records their gameplay and then uploads it, I feel like I'm the only one that even understands that there's a counter <laughs> counterattack option in the entire game that makes the game like one. Well, no, I know there's a counterattack. It's just like some are I'm not talking to... just about you. I'm talking about everybody else. They're like going at these these soldiers who are recruits just wielding swords and have the stupid beret and then they're like this is so hard why can't i kill these guys and then this is all they're doing slash 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 hit slash 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 hit damn it oh, God. did you get noobed i got noobed how dare you me chiamo etzio aditore da firenze Oh. I love how the picture here, you could see his knee clipping through his robes. <laughs> uh, anything else? I can't think of anything else. Uh, I'm trying to think. Juno is going to be dead in tomorrow. Really? That's when, that's when the last issue of uh, the Uprising comes out. Oh boy! <laughs> Finally, we can be done with this shitty arc and go on to the time travel matrix one. I never even Wait. started with this arc, but apparently it exists, and my my arc my my fan fiction was a piece of shit because. Of <laughs> if, how how would your how would your story be affected by that? It's it. What with the whole trident thing? The whole what? The whole trident thing? No, that's Last Descendants. That's those are the novels. Oh, I thought. It was although right. they, okay. although they did, they did have a short comic series because everything has to have a comic now. What? So what is? What? What's the name of this one again? Of the the novels. What the one that you're talking about right now? The the comics. It's a uh, Assassin's Creed Uprising. It, it's the sequel to both. The, the first set of comics, the the, the I think it's just Assassin's Creed, and the other is the the Templars comics. Okay. And those like come together into Uprising. All right. And then AC Origins has its own comic set where we get we they they kill Cleopatra and that. I mean, it's not like you, it's not like we would want to see that. Event that's been talked about since the beginning, since Assassin's Creed 2. Why would we ever want to play that? <laughs> because you're racist. <laughs> you're a noob. Why, thank you. Alright. <laughs> well, about time to wrap up. Yeah. We. <laughs> We've managed to bullshit for almost an hour. <laughs> yeah, just about. Yeah. Um, a lot more aggressive with some things, too. <laughs> um, thank you for the knowledge bomb that I kind of suspected. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hannah the, is still the, in, the, I told Hannah, and she's still in denial about it. <laughs> Hannah's always in denial about everything until she's I, like, well, I mean, else true. is doing it. <laughs> kidding, I love you, Hannah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. What, what was I about to say? That date, though, the reason why I started playing Brotherhood is because it, you said something about the uh, that date saying the time that Desmond arrived Yeah. In at the Villa Auditore. I feel like there's something on there that everybody missed that they're trying to tell us about or something. I, I feel like I've heard some people theorize that it's like she, Layla's going to go back to that date. And like try to change something there. Probably, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> We're gonna make Brotherhood not canon <laughs> by stopping it all from happening. 
The Brotherhood's my favorite. <laughs> Too bad. Damn it. All right, well. All right, Ubisoft just rises thing. with a gun to your head. <laughs> what did you no, say? Ubisoft, no. All right, well. We're going to stop there. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. And uh, we'll be back next week. And yeah. hopefully we'll also be back um, and starting up the game night. Yeah. Sort of deal. Yeah. Um, but until then. Screw Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. This is Sparta. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>